Dean had a chance to visit the factory when they started building the kitchen cabinets. And as you might expect, it's quite an amazing process from start to finish. This one's all set to go? Yeah. All right, so finished cabinet done about five minutes ago. A point of interest that about 50 sets of hands touch this to make it a final product. So we thought it'd be interesting to take a quick trip through the facility with Steve Westland to find out a little bit more about what it takes to put together custom cabinets like the ones we're going to be installing. Well, Steve, I got to tell you, it's a big, busy place, but uh, tell me, how do, you, how do you go about making a cabinet here? Well, you know, it's a process. We start with getting the plans in, mm -hmm. the order in, entered into the computer, pieces are cut, it goes through a whole process. The first stop is the component center where all the component pieces are cut. Uh, the milling is done there, the face frame material, the door panel material, the drawers, the, the door uh, components are all cut in the component center. Talk about cool tools. They've got an optimizing rip saw for initial cuts, a six-headed shaper for crown and trim, and another machine for turning wood strips into door panels. Very slick. Yeah, from the component center, it would go into the panel door section where they actually cut the panels to the size, cut the styles and rails to size, and then assemble the doors. Now the rails and styles also get milled for joints on the ends and slots along the edges for the door panels. The panels are not glued or nailed, but little space balls hold them in place. What the space balls do is hold that center panel tight in the, the frame because that center panel is not stapled or fastened into that door. If it was fastened, it would definitely split with the expansion and contraction. You know, it's hard to control humidity in any state. After the doors are assembled, then it goes through a shaper where they would shape the edges of the door to whatever was specified. It routes the shape and sands it in one operation. At the same time, they're doing face frames and drawers and getting them all ready for sanding. Of course, we have the machinery that does all the major sanding, but then we actually take and inspect it Cutty any imperfection and hand sand every piece. The sanding process is what makes a great finish. They've got a lot of high-tech finishing equipment, but it also takes a personal touch to get the right effect. Here's where we apply the stain to the wood, and you can see that it's all hand wiped. Uh, that brings out the beauty of the wood. So I suppose there are some things that are best done without a machine. Definitely. So, can this, this be a case? The, the beauty of, the, number one, the flatline system, is that we can apply a lot of finish because the pieces are laying flat. Here, Dean, you can see we're walking through the uh, cart line system where we do our specialty finishes yeah. with a highlight or a glaze. Uh, you can see that a lot of times it has to go through a couple times because of the specialty finishes that we have to put on some of these products. Do you have some examples of some of the things you've done here? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Wow. You can see that we, we keep an inventory. You can see that in this case, we stained the cabinet blue and then painted it and then wore it off. It's okay. called a rub through finish. So this is kind of the same thing right here it looks like it's kind of a gold background and you know actually that gold's on the surface. They put an accent on this top on top of that that stained product. Yeah okay here's another I guess uh, this one you're painting a, a red color underneath blue on the top right dressing it. This is a great door for us because we get no callbacks on damage well, Nicks and chips. How can you possibly complain? Right. Well, that's the owner's, isn't it? Yeah, he uses his own product. Well, that's always a good sign, that's right? That's great. <laughs> All right, interesting. Now, the last parts of a typical cabinet would be the sides, the bottoms, and the backs, and they've gone high-tech for those, too. All the panel material is cut on a CNC router, and I always like to say it's like magic. It does everything from cut the panel to the size it's needed. It cuts any dado in that panel. It drills the shelf holes in that panel. It does it all, so it comes out the other side ready for assembly. I gotta tell you, it's pretty amazing how everything fits together so perfectly here in final assembly. I mean, they're making parts all over the factory, keeping them organized, bringing them together, and turning out beautiful cabinets. So you had a couple doors, add a couple drawers, you have another one that's ready to head out the back door. And as I mentioned before, about 50 hands have touched this thing to turn it into a final product. Right? That's correct. And it still has to go through final inspection, be boxed, and shipped out. And again, this is the standard production line. That's correct. You guys also have a custom area yeah, where you do, do some kind of unique things. Yes, we do. Now, the tells are putting together the hood for the vent over the top of the stove. 
Now, wh why wouldn't they do something like this just in the regular assembly line? This is actually the custom shop within the factory. This is a custom piece that has to be built by a craftsman and because of the, the complexity of it, the fit and finish, and to make sure that it meets the spec that you specify. Now, we also have some brackets around the corner we were saying. Right. Dean, here they're uh, building the brackets oh, yeah. for your island. You can see here that they brought these over from the CNC. They cut these pieces out to glue them up. And the one they're building here now is the smaller version that goes under the hood above okay. the cooktop. All right. Oh, that is some nice work. Absolutely gorgeous. Boy, those are going to look great. Yeah. Nice pieces. Eventually, everything funnels into this area where it gets packaged and prepared for shipping. Well, thanks for showing us around here. You're welcome. We do appreciate it. Now, when we're done, you got to stop out and take a look at the final kitchen. Definitely love to. Give us about a month and.